Well, good afternoon, folks. And we're... <laughs> we're going to be Let's Playing something pretty interesting. I know you've all been wanting me to continue the... Um, the Silent Hill Let's Play series, but uh, no, we're doing Daydreamin' Davey today. Yeah, this was a massive hit, you know, in, in the Klondike Hilltops of 1973. That's right, they had some pretty advanced graphics back then. And we're going to be starting a new game. Another fun-filled day at school. Period, 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 period. Now do I have to click something? Huh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, there we go. What you gonna ask? What? Because they're in England, obviously. Hey, Lego, you big bully! Thanks for the pencil, jump. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Come back here with that! You know, if only it was like that in real life, eh? If only bullies, all bullies did was steal your pencils, it would be a lot less. You wouldn't have shootings and stuff like that. I'll find you, Lumpy. You can't hide from me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, then. And somehow we wind up in a medieval... Final Fantasy-ish realm. The golden lance you must seek. That seems kind of severe. We're supposed to, I guess, impale... Impale Lumpy or whatever. I have no idea. We have to seek... <laughs> I have no idea anymore what, what we're doing here. Oh, am I supposed to stab this guy? Oh, I guess so. And how the hell do I get out of here? Well, well, I guess that's the whole game. I guess the... The moral of the story is that Davy has a very limited imagination, and all he can imagine is himself on a single screen, surrounded by rocks and shrubberies. Yeah. Poor Davy, you know. Poor autistic Davy. He's fucked. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes, I am awful at this game. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, there's only one button to hit. I don't know why I had so much difficulty figuring out what that was. Whoa! I intend to beat this game today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doing pretty good so far. Because this is a game that I have never been able to beat. As a wee lad or even as a fully grown man-child. This game has just... mocked me. Woo! Okay. Alrighty, Rooney. Hey, boy, it's a lift stage. Lifts and kibbles and tea! Sands the bad teeth. Oh! No. No, that doesn't make me happy. It's the opposite of happy. That is psychological unruliness right there. Boink. Doink. What? And cream of cheese. Tra la 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 la. It is the devil cheese. Tra la 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 la. We're eating wonderful cheese. <sighs> and here's my husband, Rudy. He is king of the land. He ate the great great cheese ball, and now he is my prince. All right, I I really do hate this game here. You know, I had the, uh, this was one of the first games I ever had for the NES when I was a wee, wee lad, and I was terrible at it, and I still am. Okay, let's randomly choose one. Okay, we are going to center of the city. Okay, I haven't played this for like 15 years, I think. So I. <laughs> That, on top of how terrible I am, pretty much guarantees that this will be a massive success in every meaning of the phrase. Okay, simple enough. Yeah, that's the end of that. Hello, fine folks, and welcome to Let's Play Left for Dead. Yeah, this is James Mahogany... Barry Pickin Cornwall here. We're gonna be playing a little little bit of this game, this uh it's it's a first person shooter. Survival horror game. And I don't know why we're doing this, but uh, you know. Uh, let's start it anyways. Okay, uh, we're gonna be Louie. Louie. Because it rhymes with gooey. And that's always a win-win scenario in my in in my mind. A black man with the name of Louis. You know what more can you ask for in life? Uh, 
It's loading. And um, it's a pretty good game. Is it worth 50 bucks? Horseshit, no, it's not. It's <laughs> no way in hell. 29 bucks, maybe. So why don't I like this game? Well, uh, where do I start? First and foremost, it has a grotesque grammatical error. Or a typo, or just laziness in the title, Left for Dead. There's a number there, a numerical, you know, thingamabob going on. And that's just... Okay, all right. I can understand if this game had been developed by preteens or whatever who think it's cool to put a four in there, just hip and modern. But, you know, it's it's just, it ruins it for me. It absolutely ruins it. It just it completely diminishes the, uh, the enjoyability. Makes it feel like I'm, you know... Where was I going with this again? Hello? Uh, we're gonna be playing a game today! You know, people, it's called Super Mario Kart TM! Push B, okay. Which button on the keyboard corresponds to the B? Shit. Oh my god, I'm pressing it so fast, I don't even know what I hit. Alright, let's do this randomly. Okay, what are we gonna be? No, I don't wanna be that. No, we're gonna do the Star Cup race. Yeah! Okay! But uh, uh Oh shit, what button do I hit? Oh, fuck! Okay, I think it's the X. No, wait! All I'm doing is hitting my kneecap. Oh, which butt? Here it is, okay. Oh, how I like to be by the seashore. The Prince of Cheese! Here he is! He can never get enough of it! So yes, living with a Fred Flintstone complex is not easy! I often wander out at all sorts of unusual hours of the night, hunt down small woodland creatures, and convert them into household appliances. The authorities have yet to discover this, but they will when they find my wife's mangled body in the dishwasher. Oh.